everyone how are you doing um so you're yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel yay as you can see i'm all glammed up today which is very unusual i had a photo shoot today for my birthday so although i don't know when i'm going to be posting this video it could be before or after my birthday so i really don't know <laughs> but anyways yeah i i don't always look like this anyways um let's just get right into it you know so today i'm just going to be sharing um my process you know um my how i was able or how i've been able to stay hopeful you know and faithful you know and com confident despite the fact that i graduated with a third class you know from um the university so some of you might not know um yes i graduated with a third class degree um in applied geology and it was a very painful experience in fact my whole university um academic wise um it was it was a, it was a huge struggle for me you know so it wasn't until i graduated that i realized that i was never meant to be a science student but no excuses really i could have put in my all i could have given my best you know um and not that i didn't you know i was just not doing well academically and at a point it began to get to me you know i began to think that i am not intelligent you know i began to think that i am dull you know i don't know anything that's what began to happen to me because our semester after semester my gp will drop you know and it was it was really really difficult and this was a girl that in primary school in secondary school you know i was extremely brilliant you know i was doing so well there was a time i came second position eighth position you know i was never below 10th i was always amongst the top 10 you know and getting into university you know and struggling you know struggling to understand struggling to read. sometimes i'll even read when i get to the exam hall you know i'll forget all that i've read and after i gave my life to christ you know um I stopped cheating in exams, you know, so I'm like, if I fail, I'll fail righteously, you know, I wouldn't go about asking my classmates, oh, what's the answer, you know, or, eh, you know, I, I stopped all that in my 100 level, you know, and so cheating for me wasn't even an option. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a struggle. There were some courses that, yes, I aced and all that, but there were some, especially the geophysics type courses that I really, really struggled with. And um, I not only graduated with a third class degree, but I also had like two extra years. Yeah, I had, I had like an extra year and a semester, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, and it was just a very... <laughs> and I remember in my final year or in my final extra year, you know, sometimes I'll be on my bed, I will start weeping, I'll start crying, you know, I'll start, I'll, I'll ask God questions like who would hire me you know after school who will employ me am i going to be employable i know that i can't even go into the oil and gas sector because i failed you know in geology you know and um who would where how would i get a job you know what will happen to me after school i had all those fears i had all those worries i had that anxiety you know and sometimes you know i will cry on my bed my pillow will be wet you know and i was just so afraid of the outside world you know i was afraid of what to expect you know from the world and trust me i had jesus at this time you know i had faith at this time but i was worried you know the the fear the fear was just so real and tangible and the truth is after i graduated from university during my nyc you know i will apply for jobs you know um all these um online applications you know leave my room Drop it and go. May I come and say hello? Since you've interrupted my video, just just come. Say hi. 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 Okay, bye. That's bye. my nephew. Bye. His name is Sharon. <laughs> you know, oh crap, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Yes, you know, um, during NYC, I would apply for jobs online, you know, and by the time they get to that part where they ask, okay, so um what what grade did you graduate with you know by the time i write in third class um <laughs> by the time i write in third class 
immediately i'll get a response oh you cannot continue like you cannot continue with the application you know because once you have a third class that's the end that's a no you know and it really got to me i felt rejected you know i felt not good enough i felt not worthy enough you know and it was so bad it was it was so bad in fact i remember in my 300 level my 400 level when i saw my second semester result i almost withdrew like i almost left um the department of geology you know and i wanted to like move to i wanted to go back to 200 level and start over at a different department but then again i was like what if you do that what makes you think you'll not have the same struggles you're having now you know and like i said i didn't realize that i was never meant to be a science student till i got into um till like a few years ago you know um yeah i was never and let me even give you guys i'm not our parents are amazing our parents are great but sometimes i just feel they put on necessary pressure on us like my parents especially my dad he always wanted me to be a doctor even when i got applied geology he would go about telling his friends you know that hey my daughter is a doctor 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 you know and i feel they just put that pressure because i remember in secondary school by the time we were going to senior secondary school i first started out at um commercial class before i'm going to use it soon just give me like for like two minutes. I'm recording a video now. It's, it's there. Sorry. Are you, not, are you going to drive in the way? No, oh, I'm not going now. Sorry, okay. hold on, I'm coming. Hold on. Oh yeah, don't leave now. Um, gosh. Anyways, so I, 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 when, I, when I was going into senior secondary school, I, I actually went to, was it arts class or commercial class? It was one, I was there for like, a few weeks or before i now moved to science class all because i wanted to study medicine and i wanted to be a doctor and that never happened you know so sometimes i wish i could go back which is not possible you know and i would have just stayed in commercial class but yes after university i eventually got a job it wasn't the best paying job you know after my nyc but it was something you know and I learned so much. I worked with YBB and Alero, shout out to them, amazing women, you know, and I learned some values. I learned some certain things, especially about when it comes to administration and stuff. I began to realize my strength in administration. And after I left that job, I got another job at um, a publishing house, you know, where I began to um, notice my writing skills, my editing skills, you know, and skills like that. And while I was at Kurama Publishing, I ended up going to do a postgraduate diploma at the University of Lagos, Lagos in English language, you know, and I enjoyed it. And I finished well. Like, for the first time, I had a very good GPA, like a very good CGPA, you know. But then again, something happened. And this almost took me back to where I was coming from. In my second semester at the University of Lagos, my first semester was amazing, strong GP, I was having A's and B's, oh god, it was fantastic. But in my second semester, I had one F, and that broke me, like that, I was like, Moji, not again, like, what is going on, you know, and I wasn't going to go back to do the course, there was no way I was going, I wasn't going to go back to rewrite the course, you know, so I just abandoned it, but then... Um, my spirit was like, well, you just finish what you started. So I went back last year to just take that one course, you know, just that one course, you know, and my result came out. In fact, I was now the highest. <laughs> I was the highest in the class, you know, and that just made me realize that, look, Moji, you are not dumb, you are not intelligent. Once you find where your strength is, you thrive in it, you know. So if you're out there, you know, and like me, maybe academically you're not doing well, don't look down on yourself, don't beat yourself down. You know, trust in God. He, the Bible says that his thoughts towards us, they're of good and not of evil, to give us a future and a, and a hope. You know, the Bible says that he makes all things work together for our good. And yes, I did graduate with a third class. Yes, I faced rejection so many times. Yes, I never got my dream job, you know. Yeah, I never got that. Yes, my salary is not the best, but I am excited. I am happy. I am grateful for my journey. I'm grateful for my process. I'm grateful for where I am now because I've come to realize, and this is not myself talking me happy, no, but I've come to realize that my certificate, my grade, 
none of those things make me none of those things make me like none of none of those things make me no bible says that i am head and i am not tail bible says that i am highly favored you know bible says that i can do all things through christ who gives me strength you know and i believe that i can achieve so much and in the past couple of years you know going through different jobs you know going through trying to discover myself trying to discover my passion my career path you know i'm just grateful to god that looking back and looking at where i am now all i can say is god is good and god has been faithful you know and i personally i've also pushed myself to want to do better like i said i went to do a postgraduate diploma in english language you know just to make up for um the third class and this will also help you know when i want to do my masters you know um i'll i'll be able to fall back to my my pgd you know so yes if you finish with a third class you can go ahead and do a postgraduate diploma if you have the money you can go ahead and do a masters you know just look for where your passion is look for where your strength is when i got a job you know i made sure i was able to learn everything you know i just grow my my skills you know you can take courses online you know and just and just don't let you know don't let your experience don't let it break you don't let it define who you are you know trust in god and hope for the best and i can assure you and i can tell you that look everything will work out for your good at the end of the day okay so yes um that's my that's my that's my academic journey it's not the best it's not a hey, i'm not a valid valedictorian you know i didn't finish with the first class no i finished with third class you know <laughs> but i'm so grateful to god for the process i'm grateful to god for the experience i don't take it for granted you know um would i change anything if i have the opportunity to yes maybe i'd have studied i would have studied more like i would have gone the extra mile you know because yeah but then again would i change anything really i don't think so i don't think so um so i'm just here to encourage you paraventure like me um you didn't finish so well academically just know that look your university certificate is it's not the end, you know. I feel it's even just the beginning or it's just the part. I know so many people that didn't graduate, you know, as the um, top of their class, you know, but they're doing extremely well, you know, today. So trust in the Lord. Trust that He will direct you. Trust that He will order yourself. Trust that He will, he will open doors for you. And it's funny how the jobs I've gotten in the past few years, you know, none of them ask for my grades. None of them ask what I finished with. You know, it's just so funny you know so yeah don't 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 give up on yourself fine we feel rejection you know when we don't get that job you know we apply for but trust in god to always make a way even when there seems to be no way all right guys thank you so much for watching my video and i pray that i was able to encourage you i'm not where i want to be yet you know but i trust god i trust i trust tomorrow you know i trust that like I said, his thoughts towards me, they are good. So my tomorrow is bright. My future is bright. There's so much more to explore. Like there's so much more to explore. I know that I've not even scratched the surface, you know, of God's purpose for my life, you know. And I know that nothing, none of my circumstances, none of my situations define me. None of them make me, you know. It is God. You know, it is his purpose and his will that defines me and makes me, you know, and I'm just excited and I'm just happy and I just take one day as it comes, you know, I take it a day at a time, you know, find your strength, find what you're good at and be good at that thing. And I pray that God will help us all. He'll encourage us. He was the one that encouraged me. He was the one that brought me out of that state of anxiety. Oh, what would I see when I graduate? Oh, I've received, like I've gotten so many no's. You don't want to know. Like, in fact, I remember there was a, one time when one of my uncles spoke to one of my aunties. He was trying to get me a job, you know. And when I told them what I got, she was just like, I know that, nah, she can't. She like she didn't help. She couldn't help me, you know, because what well, I finished with third class. This was in 2012, you know. So yeah, you face rejection and all that, but just trust in the Lord, you know, and that opportunity will come 
doors will open for you. You will look back and you will even be thankful to God, you know, for your process, for your testimony. Because for me, this is the testimony that I'm not being defined, you know, by what I finished with academically. All right, guys, thank you once more for watching. And I pray that God will bless you and increase you. And I just pray that he will encourage you. And I pray that he'll open doors for you for adventure you're out there, you know, and you're feeling discouraged and alone, you know, and you, you're, you're scared of what tomorrow holds. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Yes, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. You can acknowledge God even with this, you know, and he will surely direct your path in the name of Jesus. Your future is bright tomorrow is bright all things are working out for your good you will do well you will prosper you will exceed you will excel in the name of jesus god bless you until we see you again bye